Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope everyone's doing well today. It is Saturday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. I'm here today to celebrate a birthday, a 50th anniversary birthday. No, it's not mine. <laughs> Before I get into everything, though, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. It's because of you guys, your likes, your subscriptions, your wonderful, wonderful comments that keep me going, keep me motivated to do this kind of thing, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And I really mean that. You guys are amazing. So, an album turned 50 yesterday, March 25th, 2022. Um, re released... March 25th, 1972, happens to be my favorite album of all time from my favorite band of all time, outside of the Beatles. You know, the Beatles are still up there, but uh, my favorite band is, is just right there. Uh, it is Machine Head by Deep Purple. Still sounds just as wonderful today as it did 50 years ago. This is not the original, this is a... Um, a remastered version of it. I don't know what happened to the original. Um, I went through that stupid phase years ago where I got rid of all my albums and I've, you know, I'm building up to a pretty substantial collection uh, to date, but I've lost a lot of stuff that I had. Uh, but anyway, I digress. What a great album. What a great album this is. The deep tracks as well as the hits. I mean, you've got Smoke in the Water, you've got Lazy. You've got Space Truckin', you've got uh, Highway Star, Maybe I'm a Leo, Never Before, uh, Pictures of Home, just remarkable, remarkable stuff on this one. Uh, and the Mark II version of the band, which is the best version of the band in my opinion, even though I love the Mark I version, uh, their first three albums were just spectacular, but uh, the Mark II version is, is the, the heavier, um, grittier, most famous version of the band. You know, you got Ian Gillen, you've got Ian Pace, you've got John Lord, you've got Richie Blackmore, you've got Roger Glover. Just wonderful, wonderful stuff from this, al uh, from this album, as well as most of their studio albums. So happy birthday, Machine Head. Um, it's an amazing album. If you don't know this album, and I'm sure you do, definitely give it a listen. You'll be blown away by it. But uh, this is not the only album that has turned 50 or is going to be turning 50 this year. So I just brought out a few. And I think I've shown this one a while ago, but it's always fun to show it again. So again, happy birthday, March 25th, 1972. 50th birthday, March 25th, 2022. As well as this one. This one will be turning 50 in December of this year released December 1972 made in Japan by Deep Purple one of the one of my favorite live albums Again, this is not the original this is not a gatefold it's that double album in one sleeve type of thing which I'm not a big fan of but what can you do but again you got uh, this is recorded in both uh, Osaka and Tokyo so you got Highway Star and Child in Time, both recorded in Osaka. Strange Kind of Woman in Osaka. Uh, Lazy, recorded in Tokyo. Smoke in the Water in Osaka. The Mule in Tokyo. And Space Trucking in Osaka. Just remarkable, remarkable stuff. Again, the Mark II version of the band. And um, one of the best live albums out there, for sure. Um, it's a classic. It's a classic. Uh, also turning 50 uh, in July of this year, re released in 1972 in July. Foghat's debut album. What a great debut this is. These guys are, are cool and gritty. Uh, great slide work down here, some great covers, some great blues covers. Uh, you got uh, Lonesome Dave on vocals and guitar, uh, Rod Price on guitar, uh, Tony Stevens on bass, and Roger Earl on drums. It's fantastic, fantastic stuff. This is on the Bearsville label. So this one will be turning 50 in July. Great debut. 
great debut. As well as this debut. I'm not big on the cover. <laughs> you know, I've never really liked, uh, I guess they call them headshots for covers. But uh, this is Mr. Paul Simon's debut album. Wonderful, wonderful debut album. Um, this turned 50 in January of this year. So January 24th, 1972, it was released. Again, not so much close-ups next time, okay? But uh, you got Mother and Child Reunion. Great, great track right off the bat. Then you got Duncan. Uh, and then you have uh, Everything Put Together Falls Apart. Uh, Run That Body Down. Uh, Amistice Day. Me and Julio, me, me and Julio down by the schoolyard, sorry. Another great, great uh, single off of this one. Peace Like a River, Papa Hobo, um, Paranoia Blues, and congratulations on this one. Another close-up. But what a great, de great debut album by Mr. Paul Simon. Again, turned 50 in January of this year and uh, released January 24th, 1972. Um... I forgot this was a double album, but it's a great, great album. Mr. Todd Rundgren, Something Anything. Uh, it turned 50 in February of this year. Uh, released February 1972. Another one on the Bearsville label. Um, great. I'm not going to read all the tracks because there's too many tracks, but it is, again, a double album. Um, fantastic, fantastic stuff. And uh, Something anything great great album again 50 years old sounds wonderful awesome stuff um this one turned 50 this month as well march 10th 1972 concept album thick as a brick by jethro tall um, this is on the reprise records label this happens to be the original cover uh, that folds out like a newspaper for anyone who hasn't seen it. Uh, and I've yet to go through the whole newspaper. <laughs> to, uh, but yeah, it's it's uh, it folds out like you know you've got pages and pages and pages of newspaper. Uh, there's sports and there's death announcements and. Photographs, and uh, it just keeps on going. It just keeps on going. But uh, yeah, it's a cool, cool album. Happy to find this copy of it. Um, yeah, there's uh, there's some sports on here, some soccer. I'm sure that's the uh, Athema League. Is that sport? Is that soccer or football? I guess they would call it. But. Uh, Uh, yeah, it's amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. So, uh, this fine album turned 50 this month. March 10, 2022. Released March 10th, 1972. Great, great album. I'll put them back a little bit. Um, unfortunately, there's some tape on this one, but... I love this album as well. This is Bear Trees by Fleetwood Mac. Uh, another one um, turning 50 in March, March 1972 release, so 50 years old this month. Uh, an amazing album. Another one on the reprise label. Beautiful album. Beautiful, beautiful album. Um, you've got uh, Child of Mine, The Ghost, Homeward Bound, Sunny Side of Heaven, Bear Trees, Sentimental Lady, Danny's Chant, uh, Spare Me a Little of Your Love, Dust, uh, Thoughts on a Grey Day. Just remarkable stuff. So this one turned 50 this year. An amazing album. I also have it in uh, remastered CD, but I'm trying to keep all these vinyl. I was going to show uh, also some CD releases like Neil Young's Harvest and... and uh, 
I also have a, a 25th anniversary of, of Machine Head, but I just want to keep it all vinyl. But, so Bear Trees, this uh, this month, um, this one's turning 50 next month. The great Jim Croce, you don't mess around with Jim. Unfortunately, the cover's a little messed up, but uh, the uh, the vinyl itself sounds good. This is on uh, um, ABC Records. But uh, another great, fine album. Uh, you don't mess around with Jim. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a brighter day. New York's not my home. Hard time losing man. Uh, photographs and memories. Walking back to Georgia. Operator. I love that song. That's not the way it feels. Uh, time in a bottle. Beautifully beautiful song. Time in a bottle. Rapid Roy, the stock car boy. Box at number 10. A long time ago and Hey Tomorrow. By the great Jim Croce. Awesome stuff again. So, uh, turning 50 uh, in April, released April 1972. Um, Honky Chanteau, May of this year, 50 years old. The great Elton John. I love his early work. Um, May 19th, 1972. Honky Cat, Mellow. I think I'm going to kill myself. Uh, Susie, Rocket Man, the big, big hit. Um, and you have Salvation, Slave, Amy, Mona Lisa, and Mad Hatters, and Hercules. By his uh, band, and Nigel Olson, and Dee Murray, and Davy Johnson. You know, that classic lineup. You know, written by Bernie Taupin. Uh, this is a cool cover as well. <clears throat> um... And Jean-Luc Ponte is also on this one as well. The great uh, jazz violinist. This is a, a fold out here. And um, it's on uh, Uni Records, which is cool. But yeah, happy to find this one. So again, um, May of this year, turning 50. Honky Chateau. As well as this next one, this is going to be turning 50 in July of this year. Um, July 1st, actually, 1972 was released. So July 1st, 2022 is going to be turning 50. This is Toulouse Street by the Doobies. Uh, I'm not going to show the inner sleeve because it's kind of racy. But, um, but this is on the um, Warner Brothers label. You've got uh, Listen to the Music, Don't Start Me Talking, um, Mama Loa, Toulouse Street, the title track, Rocking Down the Highway, um, Jesus is Just All Right, great, great track as well, White Sun, Cotton Mouth, Disciple, and, and Snake Man. Um, you've got uh, uh, Tyrone Porter on vocals and bass, Pat Simmons on vocals and guitars, beautiful voice, Pat Simmons. Um, Little John uh, Hartman on drums. Of course, the great Tommy Johnson on vocals and guitar. And uh, Michael Hosick on uh, drums as well. Awesome stuff. So that's going to be turning 50 in uh, July 1st of this year. Remarkable stuff. Uh, some early Chicago. Chicago 5. Again, another one in July. July 10th, uh, going to be turning 50. This is Chicago 5. Uh, I love early Chicago. I love them right up to about Chicago 7, maybe. Uh, but um, after that, uh, I didn't. I don't really follow Chicago all that much. Uh, simply because uh, Terry Kath was the mainstay in the band. And uh, he accidentally killed himself at that, uh, in a tragic accident. But he got a hit by Verace. Um all as well. Uh, now that you've gone, Dialogue Part 1 and Part 2, which is a cool track. Uh, you've got um, While the City Sleeps, Saturday in the Park, the huge, huge hit. Uh, State of the Union, Goodbye and Alma Mater. Of course, you've got Terry Kath, Peter Cetera, Robert Lamb, Lee Laughlin, Walter Perizader, uh James Pankow, and Danny Serafin. Classic, classic stuff. Again, turning 50 in uh, July of this year. Remarkable stuff.
remarkable. Uh, a couple more. 1972 is a great year. <laughs> uh, how about Son of Schmielsen? Uh, July 10th again of this year. 50 years old. Uh, this is on the Victor label. It's cool. I'm so happy. Again, it's kind of... The, the album itself is kind of rough, but this is a great album. Great album. I've got to listen to it again. I haven't listened to it in a while. Be good. Take 54. Remember Christmas. Joy. Turn on your radio. You're breaking my heart. Spaceman, the lottery, at my front door, ambush. I'd rather be dead in the most beautiful world in the world. Um, yeah, cool stuff. This is so good. So good. Yeah. So again, that's turning 50 of this uh, this year in July. Um, as well as this one. Uh, Rod Stewart's Never a Dull Moment. July 21st, 1972. I love early Rod. I'm not big on his later stuff. Um, this is on the Mercury uh, record label. But you've got um, True Blue, Lost, uh, Paraguayas, uh, Mummy, You've Been On My Mind, Italian Girls, Angel, um, and then You're Wearing It Well. I'd rather go blind and twist the, twist in the night away. Uh, You're Wearing It Well is a big hit on this one. But a great album, again, July of this year, 50 years old. Remarkable stuff. Never a dull moment. Um, in September of this year, this amazing album, Close to the Eds, yes, September 13th, 2022, 50 years old. Um, Again, I have it on remastered CD, but I didn't show you that. But uh, what a great, great album. We all, want, we all know this. I'm not going to um, read too much on it. And finally, 50 this year. And I had to bring up the box set for this one. And I won't go through the whole box set, but <clears throat> Volume 4, May of 1972. This is uh, a 50-year-old record this year, believe it or not. Uh, but this is a wonderful, wonderful um, box set. Uh, I love how it's packaged. Uh, I love everything about it. Um, but uh, I've yet to put the posters up and stuff. But there you go. They got the original album. Slightly different. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's remarkable how they put this together. And you got outtakes, outtakes and new mixes. Um, and I'll part alternative takes and false starts and studio dialogue. And you got uh, live in the UK, double album. Awesome stuff. So that's turning 50 May of this year. Just remarkable, remarkable stuff. So um, some awesome albums turning 50 years old or have already turned 50. And uh, again, happy birthday to my favorite album of all time, Machine Head. <laughs> have yourself a wonderful day, guys. Love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Uh, look for us this afternoon at 4 p.m. on the great Canadian stud muffin larry graves and uh um enjoy enjoy our, our talk gonna have some great people on there and uh i'll see you then bye now love you <laughs>